and something a little different. I've got a file open here and this photo booth trying to see if I can't put both of these in at once. If you look over here, you'll see a craft that I got the idea from a magazine publication that was called Work Basket. When I was in seminary, I was a dorm mother and the head dorm mother was a woman named Mrs. Gates and when she saw that I liked to knit and crochet, she gave me all her back issues of a magazine called Work Basket. And over the years I used it and scoured it to get ideas for crafts for kids. And this is one that I scaled back from, I can't even remember what pattern it was from, but I tried to simplify it and make a pattern that could be put on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. And this example, see the threads have gotten kind of messed up because it's kind of old. This is probably 45 years old, this craft. And um, you cut a piece of wood. It's got to be an eight by uh, out of an eight pit, inch board and, so that you can fit it like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper on top of it. And uh, it's string art was kind of popular then. And uh, I made a pattern for this. Let's see if I can show you the pattern. I can get this up here. Uh, it's not going to go all the way up there. Maybe. Close enough. Anyway, I put the numbers on the pattern and what you do is you have I cut this red piece out of I think a cereal box or a tea box, someplace a piece of cardboard that was all red and I cut that out and these are pieces of thin styrofoam from the edges of the meat trays where it wasn't gross and uh, I cut enough of those for each of the kids and the, they're put down and this red piece is just glued on here. These white pieces have to be sort of held in place and underneath a piece of paper. I should explain that a little bit there. And there's, everywhere there's an X, the student will pound through the paper into the wood that's underneath it. You place the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper on top of the wood and then have the kids uh, finishing nail, small finishing nail, everywhere there's an X and when they get down here before they put this one in they need to slip in that little strip of white styrofoam and put that one in and then slip in this, the other side and put that one in and then the other that'll hold it in place. And they put all, get all these pounded. Now I've used this successfully for a Bible school Know, for a summer camp, I should say, where the kids, we studied uh, Jesus at, around the Sea of Galilee, stories of the Sea of Galilee, and the students worked on this project for three or four days. There were 24 campers, all boys. I didn't want anything too frilly, so I thought we'd make a boat, and we didn't have enough hammers, obviously, so the first day when we introduced this, I told the kids to go out and try to find a rock to use as a hammer, so the 24 boys came in with their rocks and I inspected them to see if they would serve as hammers and they pounded so you can imagine a room full of little boys like eight nine ten all pounding merrily away at these uh, finish with finishing nails they got really good at pounding in nails with rocks and then maybe that took them a day and a half of craft time and then they were ready to tie their follow the pattern and tie their string on number one and then wrap it around number two and three and four and five and six and follow the numbers and wrap it around the nails and then they needed help to tie it off and then the flag was a different color up at the top here and it used a different kind of string for that and then um, put a straw, a drinking straw, to be the mast of this boat. And it really looked cute to see that by their, or that they all lived in one, like a dormitory housing. You walk through there and at the head of every bed was one of these little boats that the kids made. And they were so proud of them when their parents came to pick them up from the camp that they had made this boat. But it took them several days to, uh, string the thread and this is just 
a cotton embroidery thread. You can buy it. Not embroidery thread. Crocheting thread. I had one here, but I don't know where I put it. Yes, I did. I have it right here. Uh, I, I've had kids make these boat pictures over the years. I've had to help when you do it, not when you don't have a whole week to deal with it. I've had to helped more with it than I would probably have liked. But over the years, I always keep a supply of this cotton thing, and I usually run into it at garage sales or something. Somebody's getting rid of it. I haven't. I don't think I've ever had to buy one in the store, and I've had enough to make patterns with the boats. I, I also made another pattern, but I've never really had kids do it, and that is with this owl pattern. I made the pattern, and uh, but you know that was not quite as masculine as the boat, so I've never been brave enough to really try the owl pattern, and it's much more complicated. But I have on my website the patterns for the boat and the owl. And owl, I thought owls are wise, and we're trying to become wise in our understanding of the gospel. So I was going to use that as sort of like the hook for the craft. And of course, the boat on the Sea of Galilee is very good background for this and the kids are making something that they really like and keep and so I put these patterns out for you if you want to use them you're welcome to them although I should give credit to work basket but I don't know which issue and these patterns are modified quite a bit from the original but that's where I got my inspiration so thanks have fun bye